It has officially happened, ladies and gentlemen. So after 14 years, Omegle, the popular video chat site, has shut down amid abuse claims. That's right. So I imagine that there must have been so many of those abuse claims on the website that the owner just decided to say, or the founder decided to say, enough is enough, time to shut it down. So basically, uh, it says here that the site, of course, which, you know, paired strangers against each other, has shut down. And of course, three years ago, after we all know what happened in 2020, you know, the app... It saw a surge in popularity, but the problem is, you know, it inappropriately matched people. And the site has been mentioned in more than 50 cases against predators in the last couple of years, according to the BBC. And it was launched by Leaf Brooks from his parents' house in 2009 when he was 18. It was first as a text-based service, and then it ended up revolving into a video chat website. And the site was originally aimed at fostering social spontaneity. The premise was that you could chat with a stranger for however long you wanted, leaving the chats whenever you chose. And and the owner also highlighted positive soulmates, meeting people talking across culture divides, alleviating loneliness, but also faced up to the site's low points. There can be no honest accounting of Omegle without acknowledging that some people misused it, including to commit unspeakably heinous crimes, he wrote in a blog post about the site's closure. As much as I wish circumstances were different, the stress and expense of this fight, coupled with the existing stress and expense of operating Omegle and fighting its misuse are simply too much. Frankly, I don't want to have a heart attack in my 30s. So I guess based off what I read here, I imagine that the owner must have received so many complaints, you know, that it was affecting the way how I guess uh, he was living his life, the best way I could say it. In other words, I imagine that the owner must have received so many complaints of abuse from the website that, you know, eventually I guess he realized that he, he probably was going to be facing a massive, massive lawsuit because of that. And I feel like that's one big factor that led him to making the decision to shut down the website. And apparently it says here that Omega was being sued by an American woman who alleges that she was matched with a predator and she was coerced into basically being pimped out online. And according to the legal team of Omegle, they argued in court that the website was not to blame. So I imagine that the website must have received so many complaints of abuse right now that it even prompted TikTok, for example, to ban links to the website from its platform.